What is up guys, in this video we are going to learn about how to find the domain of multivariable functions. Now I have this function over here x minus 1 y plus 2 upon y minus x y minus x cubed. Now I am going to check my numerator and I am going to put values, random values from negative infinity up to positive infinity and if I put and like solve it in the rough I don't have to so I am going to see basically if you have zero or zero in the last case you have zero in your denominator then let's say we put one over here as x then then this whole term will become zero and th we don't have any such problem so but if we have zero in our numerator denominator then that is going to be a problem that is going to give us undefined and we don't want that so actually just want to have it like this then if zero comes here no problem zero comes in the denominator the function will be undefined so just in case you are imagining what is happening right now we are finding the domain of this function now this should not be zero so we're gonna write y minus x and then y minus x cubed not equal to zero and then we're we can solve this as in two ways like in this way and another way would be to keep the second term and to keep the second term and send the first term on the right side then this will going to become like this y minus x okay we forgot one thing that was the zero that's the really important thing this zero and then since this is multiplying these two terms are multiplying if we send any of the term it will it will come in the denominator and it will become zero so our next step would be zero and y minus x cubed equals zero so I'm just gonna draw a little border right here so just not get confused so what I'm gonna do now is let me just check my focus is clear okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send this x on the right side and I'll do the same with this one so these two are my like just you can say temporary answers now the question was to draw the graph as well as find the domain of this function this function right here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plot values and I'm gonna build the graph uh, now actually know that this is the graph of y equals x let's just forget this not equal to sign for a minute and let's say we have not equal to now we will draw it like this and the graph of y equals x cubed we will draw it like this it will come like this and like this so this would be our graph and actually I, I would wanted to draw, draw it when right here I actually did it over here so this graph this curve doesn't exist but it exists it's kind of weird to explain so this is y this one right here is y not equal to x cubed and this one right here is y equals x cubed this is not a dotted line this is a solid line let me make it clear and if you don't believe me you can check that if you plot the values if you plot 0 1 2 3 in this equation we'll get the order pairs like 0 comma 0 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 0 comma 0 is here 1 comma 1 is right here and 2 comma 2 is right here if we have our 1 and 2 over here 
so that is how you can plot the values you can also plug in 0 1 2 3 4 and how many values up to 1 and you'll get a nice curve like this so what I'm trying to explain right here that our answer would be we'll write our answer as all points our domain D O M A I N. Our domain would be all points X Y not lying on the graph. So on the graph of Y equals X or y equals x cubed. It's saying all points x, y not lying on the graph of y equals x or y equals x cubed. So it's saying all the points it's saying all the points or all the points that are li not lying on the graph of y equals x or y equals x cubed. So in simple words, it's saying that only these points are excluded, these points or these points and rest of all this is included. So this is, this is going to be our answer. This graph right here, I just wanted to explain that y equals x, the curve of y equals x is going to be like this. But this graph is going to be our official graph. See, we have all the points in the vicinity of x, y plane except for these points. This graph, this curve, and this line. So that was our sh little short video on how to find the domain and sketch the graph of multivariable functions. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next video.